I recently saw one of those bright yellow traffic warning signs that said, left lane ends. And then another official looking sign just below it that said, go ahead, pull your huge SUV in at the last minute. Everyone is okay with it. Was that just sarcasm or was it a real double dare? Well, I know this, when someone does it to me, my reaction can range all the way from being mildly annoyed to outright rage. Road rage worldwide causes thousands of deaths every year, damage worth billions of dollars and criminal records for otherwise law-abiding citizens. It can be a life-altering, even a life-ending experience in some cases. This ugly problem is increasing at an accelerating rate. Is it just a function of more people, more vehicles, more roads, and more congestion? What if I were to tell you that one of the major causes is a teeny endocrine gland, the size of a walnut, that weighs less than an ounce? Well, actually, there's two of them, one situated at the top of each kidney, so they're aptly called suprarenals. But the more common name is, of course, the adrenal gland. Each adrenal gland is composed of two parts, the outer cortex and the inner core, or medulla which produces dozens of powerful hormones. The cortex secretes aldosterone, which modulates sodium and potassium levels for blood pressure regulation. Cortisol, which balances blood sugar levels, and androgens, which influence sex characteristics. The medulla secretes adrenaline and norepinephrine, which generate that famous fight or flight response. The adrenals are very efficient in dealing with short-term temporary stress. However, chronic constant stress can exhaust and wear them out creating a condition known as adrenal insufficiency or adrenal fatigue. This is much like when your muscles get exhausted from overexertion with no time to rest or recuperate. You would literally collapse. In case you think that it's a fairly rare phenomenon, you need to know that it is estimated that as much as 80% of the general public is affected by adrenal fatigue in some degree and may not even be aware of it. So what are some of the common symptoms that would tip you off that your adrenals are not happy with you? How about feeling overwhelmed, run down, and exhausted? Difficulty in concentrating, which we call brain fog, nervousness, anxiety, and depression, low blood pressure, suppressed immune system, craving salty and sweet foods, tired even after a full night's sleep, cold extremities, poor digestion, diminished sex drive, Addison's disease, possibly fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome, feelings of aggression, and oh yeah, road rage. Now what brings on this adrenal exhaustion? Much of it is a modern dilemma from living in a fast-paced, demanding world, causing us to feel rushed, overscheduled, overworked, and even sleep-deprived. Excessive consumption of caffeine, alcohol, and sugar. Chronic inflammation, exposure to toxins, constant competition, traffic jams, and even excessive physical exercise. So what's the answer? How can you support adrenal gland health? Start with emphasizing whole foods, preferably fresh and raw particularly those rich in vitamin C, E, and the B complex, and the trace minerals, especially magnesium. Begin each day with a nutritious breakfast and then eat small healthy meals and snacks every two to three hours to minimize cravings, as well as spikes and crashes in blood sugar and insulin. And then reverse all the things that we mentioned that are weakening your adrenals. No, I'm serious. You want to feel better? You've got to change.